Okay, I'm working on re-uploading some of my oldest videos back onto YouTube. These are the ones I had tried to transfer over to Rumble for a channel over there before Rumble said my channel is a violation of their terms of service and banned me forever. One of the videos I recently uploaded was the homemade IFAC or improved first aid kit or individual first aid kit. There were some complaints on it. There was one complaint about I showed in an IFAC quick hot combat gauze. They recommended using a different type of hemostatic dressing because well this is so 10 years ago while that new stuff is so this year. Use what you can get a hold of and make sure you know how to use what you get a hold of. Next complaint. I had mentioned putting in tampons. Now there's a lot of misconception on this that this is the only thing you use for arterial bleed to save the casualty's life. No, this is used as an additional barrier to slow the blood loss. Now, the one particular person complaining about this said that you take the tampon, you push it down into the body completely, it gets lost in the body, it cannot be found on an x-ray, and then the casualty dies for whatever reason. They said that this can be lost easily inside the, inside the casualty, cannot be found when the doctor is working on the casualty. They recommended instead getting some Curlex, some roll gauze, cutting off a piece of this, putting it into a little ball, and shoving that into the wound. I may be wrong, but this will not show up on an x-ray either, so what the hell's the difference? Now, my recommendation, the primary things you should use, first, your compression dressing. Make sure you get sufficient pressure on it to control the bleed. If that does not work, immediately get on the combat application tourniquet or an improvised tourniquet. Because maybe that dressing will give you sufficient time. You can get the improvised materials to put a tourniquet together if you don't already have one of these for whatever reason. Or you've already used it on a different limb. So I'm going to give you the steps on how to take care of this using the tampon and the field dressing. A lot of us still carried around field dressings even after we got issued the IFAX. Because we always figured if we're going to get hit, it's going to be more than once. Might as well have that additional medical capabilities. That's one of the reasons why we put these in the IFAX. Okay. I'm going to give you the steps of what we were taught by our combat medics who were trained at Fort Sam Houston on how to do this using the tampon and the issue dressing. I'm going to do a walkthrough first. Then I will try attempt, and this will be like our second or third try on this, to do it at combat speed, showing you generally what it's going to look like, except we're not going to have blood spraying all over the place. So you get the materials from their IFAC or whatever you have available. Take the tampon, rip open the package, remove the applicator, Press the applicator into the hole. Casualty may scream because you're shoving something inside their body. You know what? They're already probably crying out because it hurts like hell, so who cares? Press it down into, you got two piece here. Press the back piece while holding the bottom piece. Press that down into the wound. That will release the tampon material into the wound. Remove the applicator. Press. The tampon into the hole, not completely. You want to leave a little bit of it out, say about a half inch, quarter of an inch. You want a little bit of it on there that's going to turn into a mushroom top so that when the doctors get to it, they see there's something in there. And remember, there's also a string on these things. You want that hanging out also to show that, hey, there's something in there. There's an indicator. As soon as you get that done, then you pull out. The dressing, either your compression dressing 
or your field dressing and you apply the dressing over the wound. Try to keep pressure on there as best you can as you're wrapping it. Talk to the casualty. Keep them conscious. Keep them from passing out. Get that dressing on there as best you can, as tight as you can. With the uh, field dressing, you had to be able to slip two fingers in underneath. But since this is arterial, I would say go a little bit tighter so that you can only fit one finger under there. If your casualty is still conscious in that stuff, you're going to raise the casualty's limb above the level of the heart, and you're gonna have the casualty, if they are conscious, apply manual pressure directly over the wound for at least 10 minutes to try to control the bleed. And then obviously while that's going on, during that 10 minutes, seek medical attention, get your casualty ready for evacuation if you have that capability. Now, I'm going to again attempt at doing this at kind of a combat speed. And hopefully my training materials, my training aids here, will cooperate on like last time. So, casualties hit, casualties on the ground. We come running up to them. We start our assessing the casualty. You know, where you hit and that stuff, I got hit in the leg, we're seeing blood spraying out. We can see the wound is right here. We have not checked the backside yet to see if there is an exit wound. You can. Raise it, feel on the, on the back, see if there is an exit wound. The exit wound would typically be bigger. If it is bigger, well then that's probably gonna be what you're gonna shove in the gauze or your combat gauze. But right now, we're dealing with the front here. We got the entry wound, we got the bullet wound. We're not dealing with a giant cut open artery. We have just the one wound going in from the front into the artery. Get out your materials, have it there. Tampon, rip it out of a package, toss package. Take it, press it down into the hole. Casualty will scream. Press. Top of the applicator down, bottom of the applicator push up. This will get caught in the hole. Pull it out. Press this down into the hole. Leaving. Quarter inch to half inch sticking out with tail sticking out. Now, go through, rip open your field dressing. Pull it out. Remember, white side, sanitary side to the wound. Push it over that, over the wound. Talk to the casualty, reassure them. You're gonna be all right, you're not gonna lose the leg. Don't worry about it, we'll get you out of here, we'll get you to a medic. Everything will be all right, you're gonna be able to walk again, don't worry. You're not going to lose this leg. You're not going to die. I know you can see the blood, blood spraying. You're not going to die on me. Do you understand that? Stay the hell awake. Don't you dare close your eyes. Stay awake on me. Talk. Tell me about yourself. Tell me where you're from. Do you have family? Wife, kids? Come on, tell me. Tell me. Whatever you can. Come on, keep talking. I don't want you to pass out on me. Keep talking to me. No, you're not gonna die. You're gonna make it. Do you understand me? You are going to make it. We're gonna get you out of here. We're gonna get you to a doctor. Now, because of the injury we got right now, we're gonna do this differently. We're gonna tie this off directly over the top of the wound. Like we're going directly to a pressure dressing. Go through, because I'm reusing this, I'm going to tie regular knot into it. Go through, tie it down a bunch of times, check, make sure it's good and tight. Get an object, get the casualty's leg up on it. Apply pressure, maintain pressure. If the casualty's awake, have them hold it. If there is no, the casualty is passed out, get someone else to get to that first aid. 
Call in for that medevac. You maintain that pressure at least 10 minutes. Push down on it. Remember, this is an artery. You're trying to keep that blood inside there. Now do you get the idea on how this works? You don't just put an, a tampon in by itself and expect that that's going to stop your artery. If you do that, tampons might just get shot right out of there from the pressure from the heart pumping. If you do not get something in there, you do not control the bleed, the casualty can die within 60 seconds. If an artery is punctured, it is torn apart, you have to get that dressing on there, that tourniquet on there as fast as possible. Within 60 seconds, the human heart can completely pump out the volume of blood in the body and the casualty will die. Now you got an idea on how that works, huh? Remember, this is emergency. This is improvised. Trying to keep the casualty alive. I've seen some people make comments on how tampons are not sterilized like a medical dressing. Well, guess what? The casualty was not in a sanitary environment when they got hit. That, that wound is already septic. There's already stuff in there that can cause infections. Worry about that stuff later. That's for the doctors and medications to take care of. You're trying to keep the casualty alive. You're trying to keep them from losing that limb. Plain and simple. Now, if you get a arterial bleed in, say, the neck, just do like a Kentucky Ballistics and shove your thumb in it. And I doubt that'll be sanitary either. But it'll keep you alive. Now, for all my engineer brothers and the Patriot Militia Movements, always remember essay